Hey, how's it going, everybody? Charlie Wilson here, AK Sinister Charlie. Welcome back. Uh, Mike Burnfire. I've I haven't done one of these videos in a long time. Um, mainly, uh, a lot of their videos are way too long to react to. I think I've done all the ones that are like under an hour. I think like that. I, I any, anything more than half an hour, it, I have to think about just. You know, it, it, at some point it just becomes me sitting watching something and not commenting on it. So, yeah, the, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, jury duty. Uh, you know, I'm going to be honest. Uh, whenever I get a summons for jury duty, I just don't, uh, you know, ignore it. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, some, somebody else wants to do jury duty, I'm sure. Uh, I don't know why. Uh, so, anyway, let's go. The way you get out of jury, do you want to know how you get out of jury Don't duty? Go. When they ask you if you're familiar with the case, you just say, yeah, he probably did it. <laughs> oh, yeah, he did it. Why would you want to get out of jury duty? It's your <laughs> Sorry, I said pause real quick. Ten seconds. Uh, <laughs> uh, just do the whitest kids you know and just say you're racist. But uh, <laughs> if you've ever seen that sketch, it's pretty funny. Responsibility to because it's boring. <laughs> I, I, I have been called up for jury duty three times. Really? I've never had twice. to go. I think the twice. first time I got called up for jury duty, I was in Iraq. Oh, uh, there you go. Bit difficult to pull you out of that quagmire. They sent me a letter <laughs> and it got forwarded all what? the way to Iraq. That's mm -hmm. so stupid. Guess I gotta go home now. It's Sergeant. I did, I did actually do that. I brought it to my <laughs> chain of command and I was like, yeah, I, I need to go home. They called me for jury duty. <laughs> and they gave me this look like, I'm sick of your bullshit. <laughs> so like I had to call the phone number on it because I wasn't, I wasn't gonna just like not call the phone number on it. So I had to get up. What, and, what like, are they gonna do? I, I honestly... <laughs> Where do you find the time to go call so like it's hard enough calling people back home when you're in Iraq. Um I was in, I was in Iraq from 2007 to 2008 but yeah, it's hard enough to find time to go to a phone bank and call uh anybody really. I I think I called my girlfriend. I had a girlfriend at the time. I think I called her like once every week or two. So, yeah, it's hard to find time. Especially I was convoy security, so we were always on the road, so yeah. You pull up and take you out of the war, right? So I, I got up. I, I honestly, to this day, I still have no idea how that letter made it all the way to Iraq. <laughs> I don't know. And it wasn't even because, okay, so like when you're in the military, a lot of people who are in the military, they, their driver's license, where they are a resident of, stays where they're originally from. If you were from North Dakota mm. and you joined the military and you got stationed in Texas, mm. Your state of residence might still be North Dakota, well, right? Yeah, like you might is. just keep the North Dakota driver's <laughs> license and, and you'd be stationed there. So I got a letter summoning me to jury duty from the county and state where I was originally from, which was not Louisiana. So they sent the letter down to Louisiana. It got forwarded to Iraq. I had to get up at like two in the morning because that's when it was the time they opened back in the United Why States. Why would you oh, do yeah. that? It's like, it's, 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 it's a big time difference. So, so I had to get up at like three in the morning. Dude, just ignore it. <laughs> like, I, I think uh, once I was in California, um, and it, it happened like right after I registered to vote. I got summoned for jury. By the way, that's kind of how they get you. But uh, yeah, I registered to vote, and I got summoned for jury duty in California. And uh, I just you just don't show up. Like, why would you? Why would you do this, sir? Why? <laughs> morning to call them. I, I, I found a way to talk to a person, and I'm just like, yeah, I can't, I can't come to jury duty. What, what's the nature of your reason Why that you cannot attend jury duty? I'm in Iraq. We have to cut your vacation short, sir. <laughs> She's like, oh, I'll take you off the list then. And I was just like, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Appreciate it. Gotta go back to the war. Bye. War is waiting. I thought that was so insane that like nobody nobody thought about this unless literally everyone that was handing the handling the mail in this instance was like this guy's getting called for jury duty and his forwarding address is a rack <laughs> what a sucker and they just stamp it and send it out maybe they were looking out for you maybe they thought of this thing at this other they could have pulled you out of that yeah they were like yeah, maybe hey. they were trying to trying to get me out of iraq so jury duty like, got your back if i know if i know nobody got me i know jury duty got me <laughs> The other times were nothing. Nothing happened. I called the phone number and they said, yeah, you don't have to show up. And I was like, all right. Maybe one day. Maybe someday I'll have to do jury duty. Maybe. But 
Probably not, because I won't want to go. Maybe someday you'll have somebody else's life in your hands. I do legitimately feel like if you served in the United States military, then you're not obligated to go to jury duty. I feel like if you served, you should be free to go to jury duty. <laughs> you know, maybe, maybe. Just, uh, I th yeah, whenever you want. Just show up to, to show up to the court any day you want. It's like, is there a jury going on? Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know why you did want to do that. They could set it up like that. Maybe it would be an optional thing. Is like if you were in the military, you can either get preference for jury duty, where like now you get to do jury duty more often, or you just don't have to do jury duty again. If I'm if I'm tried by a jury of my peers, I'm gonna get my lawyers to just be like, no, they're not like that guy. They're nobody. No Nobody's like him. You can't try it because there's nobody like him. <laughs> my mama says I'm special. There's yeah, no one like me. My mom said I'm special as I'm like drooling on myself. <laughs> what a legal loophole. I can't believe no one's thought of. Yeah. I know that juries are an important part of our judiciary system. I and guess. They're, they're, it's very important to have them. Yes. But sure. also our judiciary system is incredibly broken and it barely functions anymore. So like what's one more person just being like, yeah, I hate cops to get out of jury duty. Uh, you don't actually, that works duty, too. You can probably find a way to get out. Actually, I guess you don't have to say you're racist like the whitest kids you know. You could just, uh, yeah, you could just say you hate cops. <laughs> It'd probably be popular. I don't know. Out of it. Uh, I think it was Mark Twain that said a jury is 12 men who are too stupid to get out of jury yep. duty. <laughs> I believe that. Yep. I don't know how the hell I heard about this, and I have I, I have no verification on the, whether or not this story is true, but I want to believe it's true, so I'm going to believe it's true. The, basically, what this trial lawyer would do is... He would get these big old cigars, mm. and then he would stick a, a thin wire in, down the center of the cigar. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say he was a defense attorney. While the prosecution would talk, he would smoke the cigar, and because he'd put the wire down the center of it, the ash would never fall off the end of the cigar. <laughs> so he would be smoking this, like, one-foot-long cigar with four inches of ash hanging off the end of the cigar, and the jury would get... Incredible people That's like awesome. me who were on the jury would see this and just be like, oh, "Fuck, is he doing?" And he's like waving this. Also, uh, being able to smoke in court—that's awesome, dude. Man, I miss the old days. I don't know. I don't remember the old days because I wasn't there for it. But cigar around and talking to people, and the ash still isn't falling off. And it's just like, when is the ash gonna fall off of that fucking cigar? I'm gonna lose my mind. Yeah, it, that's really funny to me. There are all sorts of underhanded tricks i'm sure some of them utilize oh there's there's tons there's tons and tons and tons there's lots of fun underhanded tricks you can do if you are a lawyer it's like for some reason i don't know why but for some reason that reminds me of the um the murder valley in oh Wyoming, yeah I think. yeah yeah there's a, there's a place the, uh, before he says it, i know what he's talking about there's a place in wyoming it's like the sliver of land where um uh there there's like I think it's the population is so low that you could not be tried by a jury of your peers. Something like that. It's in Wyoming. Oh, yeah. That you can legally get away with murder yeah. because according to the way the rules are set up, they have to try you with a yeah. jury of your peers from the county in which the crime was committed. Mm -hmm. But because there is no one that lives in that county, <laughs> they can't try you. Something like that, yeah. And what's really funny to me is there's basically like one lawyer, I think, that's been trying to get this like overturned. <laughs> and like the judge that keeps presiding over it is just like, no, the law would find a way to make sure that it, the law would succeed. And he's like, yeah, but what if it fucking doesn't? Yeah. What if it does? Literally all you have to do is change one word in the law and that will fix this fucking problem. How many people have to die in here before you're willing to change? It's very... At least one, apparently. At least one. <laughs> oh, I thought that was over. Yeah, I just think that if you serve in the military for five years, you get like 25% off your taxes. Hell yeah, that works for me. <laughs> Hell, you get a 25% off it. Hey, uh, dude, you get your free starter uh, when you go to Applebee's on Veterans Day, bro. Why don't you just like be happy with it? Uh... Yeah, that was a, uh, I think when we were broke, well, when I was broke in the military, we every Veterans Day we'd make the run. You'd just go to like Applebee's and you'd go to IHOP and you'd go to Denny's and you'd just get all these free meals. Um, yeah, but not not anymore. I'm I'm too old for that. Well, you get twenty five percent off at Applebee's. <laughs> Sorry. Well, you get a hundred percent off one day of the year. Yeah, I suppose. Wow. 
boy, all the PTSD it was totally worth it for a bowl of Alfredo noodles with chicken on them that still had the price tag for the bowl inside it. You know, if you're that happened to me, I'm not even joking. <laughs> I'm not even joking. I went to I went to fucking Applebee's no, with my family on Veterans Day when I was in my 20s, <laughs> and I got I don't even remember what it was. I got a bowl of Alfredo noodles and yeah. chicken. Mm. Why would and you I do finished that? eating it, and the price tag for the bowl was still on the inside of it. <laughs> and I was just like, come on, guys. Well, to be fair, even if you're choosing to go to Applebee's, like uh, some people pay to go to Applebee's. So at least you're not that. You know, if you're really hungry or if you want to get meals for multiple days, you can just hop from location to location yeah. on Veterans Day. Get a whole yeah, bunch of free food. It seems kind of weird to me. If you're yeah, broke. The, the first day I celebrated like that, like, all right, I'm a veteran. I'm going to get a whole bunch of free food. And then, like, the third time, I couldn't be bothered. I don't even go most of the time yeah. now. No? Most of the time, I don't even go out for Veterans Day. Yeah. Like, I don't care. The reason I don't usually go is because it just doesn't seem worth it to me. It's, it's like I can not. have kind of mediocre food for free. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Yay. Free food. Yay. Free yeah, it's mediocre. <laughs> yeah, but it's free. It's free. mediocre. But it's free. Frugality. I could, I could give you a bunch of shit. I could literally take a dump on a plate and hand it to you, and it's free. That's true. I probably, probably wouldn't need free. that. It's free. Yeah. Are you sure you don't want it? It's free. It's free shit. Well, if you don't like it, you don't have to Lots eat it. Lots of farmers love to have shit. God, all right. They use it to fertilize their fields. No one's making you eat this food. It's available for you. A couple years back, I went to a restaurant for Veterans Day, and one of the waitresses like dropped like a bunch of plates and it made a very loud like bang. Yeah. Oh Jesus. And then crashed. <laughs> and basically every single veteran that was in there just like completely stopped and then just like turned and looked at her. A couple of people do dove under their desks. Nobody <laughs> nobody did that, fortunately. That's always <laughs> jumped under the tables. Yeah. Good stuff. Yeah, I miss those guys. Uh it just <laughs> Uh, they they work very well together. Um, anyway, there you go. Uh, yeah, don't I? I don't. I can't remember the last time I went out on Veterans Day. Like, I, if I was broke, I'd be doing that. But um, anyway, there you go. <laughs> uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, please like me and subscribe me down below. Uh, makes me feel real good inside and helps out the channel. If you have any suggestions, put them in the comments, and I will get to them eventually um yeah that's pretty much it um uh, thank you very much and bye